welcome back to my channel. So today's video is, I guess, a little bit different from other videos. I'm not talking specifically about any movie. I was going to do like a movie wrap up again for this month, but I feel like I watched way more movies than other months, or at least it seemed that way. And it just seemed very daunting to talk about every single one of those movies. So what I decided to do today is instead to kind of just go over some of the books that I have been reading this past year. So this wasn't just over the course of this last month. Um, it was, it's been a minute since I've been reading some of these books because some of them were a little bit more challenging to read, not in the sense that they were hard, just in the sense that they weren't really holding my interest that much. So anyways, let me go ahead and just get right into it. So I'm going to talk about the books I read, and then I will also quickly talk about the books that I plan on reading for the remainder of the year. So maybe I'll talk about them again at some point in the future, but yeah. And I, I'll do this in the order of which I read these books. So the first one I am going to be talking about is Lock Every Door by Riley Sager. Um, this is one that came recommended to me by one of my best friends, and it's more of like on the thriller suspense side. I would say kind of a little bit of almost supernatural kind of sort of and it's about a woman who is in New York and she is kind of going through some trouble and she needs to you know find a place to live find a place to do like somewhere to work and so she sees an ad out there for like an apartment sitter for the Bartholomew which is just like a really renowned like apartment complex type of place and so she sets out to go, you know, to the interview, blah, blah, blah. And then she gets the job. And so she's apartment sitting. But then she starts noticing all this weird stuff happening to the residents and just within the walls of the Bartholomew in general. And so she goes on kind of like a quest to kind of uncover what the hell is going on in this place. And just some shit happens. And I really enjoyed this book a lot. And it was kind of... It's very easy to read. The style in which the author chose to write the book is like very uh, with it with the language and that they use. You know, they talk about like social media, Instagram and all that stuff in this. So it's like pretty newer and relevant to things that we know and recognize now. And yeah, it was definitely kept me on the edge of my seat. I wanted to know what was always going to happen next. Um, I would set a goal to read like a chapter or something in a night and then I would end up reading like three or four chapters and wanting to continue but you know I had to go to bed at some point. So yeah so I really enjoyed it. I really like the style that the author writes in and I would definitely read some more of her books and yeah I enjoyed it. I would give this probably like a I would say maybe like an 8 out of 10. The next book I read is, is Full Tilt by Neil Schusterman. And I'm a big fan of Neil Schusterman. I've read his Scythe series books and I really enjoyed those. So I wanted to pick up a couple other Neil Schusterman books. He's actually on my TBR list too. And so yeah, so this is about um, two kids who one is like more on the cautious side and when they're brothers, one is on the cautious side, one is more of like a risk taker and the they like, you know, rides, amusement parks and whatnot. And and the one who is more on the cautious side and he gets invited to this amusement park that is like invite only and so he decides to not go to it but his brother who is the risk taker decides to go to it but that ends up being like a like a phantom carnival amusement park type of thing where if you go you have to do certain things in order to leave the amusement park so then his brother gets trapped there and then now he is on his own personal quest to get his brother out of there and I can definitely tell that this is obviously like a young adult type of book. I would say maybe geared towards like middle school, younger high school kids and just again the way that it was written. And I can tell that it was written in a way to like teach a lesson. I felt like they were trying to say something about like overcoming your fears, the obstacles in your life and kind of trying to challenge yourself. And yeah, but again, it was even though I knew that about this book, I was again a book that I felt the need to continue reading and wanting to know what was going to happen next in it. Yeah, it was just fun and I enjoyed it. When I first read this, I was like, I don't know if I really like that book as much. But then after kind of sitting on it and then reading more books, I realized that it was. It was like an extremely easy read. As you can see, it's not a very thick book. I would say I got through this within, I don't know, four days maybe. Again, I was reading on the slower side because I try and just read a couple of chapters a night. But then, you know, one thing leads to another. And I think I... Right, I was doing that and then I ended up just finishing it all within a couple of days. So yeah, I would recommend this one. I would give this one probably, honestly, I think I would say 9 out of 10. Again, it was an easy read and it was more for like younger people, but it was a very enjoyable read and it had a, a fun little message to it. And yeah, 
I enjoyed it. So the next book that I read so far this year, it's um, Kill Creek by Scott Thomas. And yeah, this book, again, easy read, nothing difficult about reading this book. It wasn't that great, or at least I didn't think it was that good. I kept telling my husband that, oh, sorry. Let me talk about what this book is about first. So this book is about how many, like, I think it was four, no, three authors who are invited to go do this interview with this guy who has like a website that like promotes authors and like, uh, like, I guess horror or unexplainable things on his website. And so he invites these authors to go to this haunted house to do an interview in hopes of publicity for the authors and as well as himself to get more, you know, views on his website. And so they go to the house, nothing much happens. And then when they leave the house, that's when shit goes down and things start haunting them. And then it's them basically trying to figure out what this haunting is and how they can stop it. Now for the review part. So when I was reading this book, this book took me the longest out of all of these other books to read. And it's not a very thick book either. Um, I would say not even half of it, maybe a little bit more than half of it was extremely slow to me. I felt that it was just explaining like, uh, well, okay, first of all, I don't really enjoy books that I feel like come from the points of several different people. Like it seems like there are multiple people that are like, is like the main POV type of thing that the book is about. I never have really liked that. Even when I was a little kid and was an avid reader, I never really enjoyed that. So this book is kind of like that. There is one main character, which is Sam Mag MacGyver. Yeah, MacGyver. He's like the main one that you get to see kind of things happening from his point of view. But every now and then it shows different points of view, views from the other authors as well as the guy who is the like um, website dude. His name's Wainwright. And so it does show theirs. And I don't really enjoy, I don't know why, I've just never really been a big fan of that. So that was going on. So then that already kind of put me off against the book. But then again, like I said, it was kind of an extremely slow start. I was just kind of waiting for the spooky things to happen or the interesting things to happen. I know, of course, um, there is a buildup to like suspense and stuff like that. So I felt like I was getting a lot of suspense in the sense that I wanted just to hurry up and know what the hell was going on. Like stop pulling my leg, just hurry up and say it already kind of a thing. Like I just want to know what the hell is going on. I don't need over half of a book to lead up to the things that are going to happen at the end of the book. I will say that the, like the last quarter of the book, it was interesting. There were things that go were happening it was more action-packed and spooky and more descriptive and like things that like happened to the people that were kind of like on the gory side I did enjoy that but even then when that was happening I kind of felt like there were certain scenes that he over explained or over wrote about and I was kind of like okay I'm ready to move on from this scene let's move on to another scene and so yeah I didn't really enjoy that aspect but I think overall the ending was really good and especially like the last like epilogue part I think was pretty interesting. It definitely kind of uh, made you think one thing is or it ended in one way but then it flipped it and showed that actually there is more to the story or it's not what you think it is type of thing. And yeah, so I think overall I would give this one maybe like, I want to say five but I hate when I grade things like straight down the middle. So I think I'm going to rate this like a six out of ten only because... Like I said, it was kind of slow and I don't personally like books that tell a story from multiple people's points of view. I just want one person to follow and that's it. But I will say that the, I think the characters and everything were pretty good, like fleshed out. You did know that they were like, they all each had their own individual things that happened to them in their past that kind of made them who they are in that like in the time frame that this book was happening or everything that was happening. So I think that was interesting. You got to know who those characters were and like what made the what events happened in their life that made them who they are and like why they act the way they are why they write in the style that they write in so i think that was really good i think he did a good job at that but yeah everything else i was just kind of like meh and then it was also kind of confusing because it made it seem like oh yeah this is like a horror or a spooky uh supernatural story but then it was also kind of like saying that it, i don't know it was kind of making it feel like actually it's not it's just stuff that you're thinking to your i don't know can't really explain because i feel like if i do it's going to give too much of it away but yeah those are my thoughts on that one so those are all the books that i read this year so far and now i want to go into the books that i am going to try and read 
for the rest of the year. It's probably going to take me maybe a little bit over the year, but I really do have a goal. I feel like some of these are going to be easier to read than others. So hopefully that's the case and I get through them really fast, but I really want to read more. I feel like it's going to help me become a smarter person by reading more. So that's why I want to read more in general. So currently I'm kind of in the middle of reading two books. One I was started reading before I even read all the other ones that I just showed you, but I just haven't gotten through it because it is a lengthy book and that is Stephen King's It. This is again a book that I borrowed from my best friend and I've had it for years and I've never read it which is a tragedy because I love the It films. So I finally decided to try and read it this year and I only have gotten about that far into it. Um, not to say that it's like a overly difficult but it is more wordy and more descriptive of certain things but like it's good like it does good for the book so far but I don't know I just I have a hard time and it's like small writing and yeah it's gonna take me a while to read um but I do plan on reading it oh I got, almost got to 200 pages in this book so yeah that's only about almost 200 pages that I got to and that's literally not even like anything I feel like so I do have a whiles to go on this one but I do plan on finishing this book at least this year tops the beginning of next year <laughs> We all know what this one's about, so I don't have to really full on explain that one. The next one that I just started reading last night, another book by Neil Schusterman. Like I said, I really enjoy him, his novels. And I think Jared Schusterman, which I believe is his, is his son. This one is called Dry. And it is basically like almost like an ap apocalyptic, apocalyptic type of book. It's about a girl named Alyssa. She, her town or the city or whatever that she's from, the it's affected by the drought heavily and everyone starts turning on each other i think her parents end up eventually leaving her and her younger brother so she has to figure out what the hell to do and i think it's just kind of like that whole apocalyptic vibes and just how they're going to overcome it and survive it and whatnot because obviously you need water his book was dedicated to the people who are struggling to undo the disastrous effects of climate change so i think that's what this kind of book is about i have noticed that so far that he does do a lot of books that are like a commentary on something and I think this is going to be another one like that kind of probably something to do with you know taking care of your planet and you know stuff like that not using up all the resources I'm assuming I'm assuming if it's anything like his the full tilt one I think that's what that, this one might be about the next one on my list to be read is Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo and if you don't know this one is also a uh, TV show series on Netflix and that's why I got this book. Uh, me and my husband really enjoyed the TV show and so yeah this so that's why I decided to read it. I hope I'm hoping to read all three of them before the show comes on again. Again I don't think that's gonna happen but I'm hopeful okay. So yeah this is just about a girl who is has superpowers and I guess people are trying to use her powers for their own motivations and just her kind of overcoming that. I don't know why I didn't start this one before dry because I really want to finish it before the next season comes out but I don't know we'll see. And the last book on my list is okay this one I have no idea I think it's I think this one is based off of you know those little like figurines that people have or at least I remember them when I was younger seeing people paint them and shit and so it's a little figurine and you can paint it and like create like your own world I guess with it I'm pretty sure this book is based off of that world from what I found out about it because I, I had to look it up what the hell it was so it's called Sepultrum by Nick Kime sorry I don't know how to say that name but it says it's a Warhammer horror novel and so then I looked up what the hell Warhammer is because it sounded interesting. So I looked up what it is and yeah, that's what I got from it. It's like those little figurines and I guess it's based off of that world. And so basically it's just about this woman who I guess she realizes she's being hunted, but she doesn't know why she's being hunted. I think she kind of has like some sort of amnesia. So she's on her quest to kind of figure out what's going on and why does she get amnesia and why is are people hunting her but it sounds like it's going to be pretty gore filled so that's why i was kind of excited to read it so and i think it's kind of like zombie-esque like i think there's some zombie aspects to it from what i remember reading about it i think this is probably going to be the last on my list though out of all these books that i want to read <sighs> but yeah there you have it those are the books that i recently read and the ones that i plan on reading i do at one point hope to read a book that's actually based on like an actual person's life because i feel like those are also interesting. I've never really been interested in those types of books, 
But I know I have a couple of friends that are reading books like that. And I know one of my friends, she's always reading like biographies on people or autobiographies on people. And so I don't know, I'm kind of interested in reading one of those. I want to learn about someone's life and like the actual legit struggles they have been through and it's kind of like how they overcome them and whatnot. But yeah, that's all I have for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.